In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Stay Free App Usage Tracker and Screen Time Manager app on Android. So if you're looking to track your screen time, limit your app usage or block distracting apps, Stay Free is the perfect tool for you. So let's dive into how you can use this app to manage your phone usage and stay productive. So first and foremost, Stay Free is a very powerful Android app designed to help you track your screen time, set app usage limits and block apps that might be distracting. It's a great tool for anyone who wants to use their phone more mindfully and improve their productivity. The app comes with three key features that will help you take control of your digital habits. So you've got usage tracking, usage limits and in-app blocking. It's easy to use and can be a game changer if you're trying to reduce distractions on your phone. So first go to the Google Play Store and search for Stay Free Usage Tracker. Tap install and once it's done downloading, open the app. Stay Free will ask for permissions to access your usage data and notifications to track your screen time and block apps. So grant these permissions and we're ready to get started. So let's open the app here and let's start with tracking your app usage. So when you first open Stay Free, you'll be taken to the home screen where you can see your total screen time for the day. This shows how long you've been using your phone and which apps you've spent most time on. So to see more detailed information, you can tap on the usage stats tab. So here you can see your screen time for the past day, week or month and get insights into which apps are taking up most of your time. You'll see a list of apps along with total hours you've spent on each one. This is perfect if you want to track how much time you're spending on social media, games and other apps. So next we're going to talk about setting usage limits for apps. So Stay Free allows you to set time limits for individual apps so you can make sure you're not spending too much time on things like social media or games. And if you exceed the limit you've set, Stay Free will send you a notification to remind you to stop using the app. So to set usage limits, go to the usage limits tab and then tap on add usage limit. And then what you want to do is you can tap on an app that you want to set the limit for. So let's go with Instagram and then we'll hit the select button. And then what we can do here is we can choose to block permanently or block on a schedule. And you can, you can set a schedule for the week and times. You can set a daily usage limit. So say for example, I only wanted to spend 15 minutes a day on the app. You could do that. So if I hit the next button and then just grant permission. So what's it asking? Grant permission. Let's stay free, block your apps. So I think we have to go to stay free and allow that. And then we hit save. And so basically it would notify me if I went over 15 minutes on Instagram and it would tell me that I've reached the limit. One of my favorite features of the Stay Free app is in-app blocking. So if you're trying to stay focused, you can block distracting apps after you've reached your usage limit. This can help you stick to your goals and stop you from using apps when you're supposed to be working or relaxing. So to use this feature, go to the in-app blocker section and you can choose which apps you want to block and set time limits for when you want them to be blocked. So for instance, if you've reached your 30 minute limit on YouTube, Stay Free will block access to the app until the next day, helping you to avoid temptation. So for Instagram, this can block off a bit more. So we could block the Explore tab. We could block Instagram Reels. We could block Instagram Stories. I will block off two of those. And you can see there's, there's different options for different apps, which is great. And then Stay Free also gives you the ability to tr track your screen time over weeks and months. So as I said here, this gives me a proper breakdown 
on what I am using the most over the past week, the last 14 days, you can see what I've been using. So I hope that has given you a good introduction into the Stay Free app. And if it's something that you're interested in and you think it might be helpful for you or for your family or friends or whoever else, then give it a go.